Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about Google Play's new rating calculations. All right, so earlier this week we had Google I.O. 2019 and there were a lot of announcements that affect us developers. A lot of new things coming out, some talks about and what's in Android Q, um, the dark mode, things like that. But one of the things that interested me most was the change in the algorithm that calculates ratings. So in the past, we've if you have an app that's been around for a long time, like my biggest app was released in 2012, so it's been around I guess about six and a half years. So over that course of that time, the ratings have been calculated over the whole time and they're gonna start changing the algorithm and it's gonna affect a lot of us. It's gonna help a lot of newer developers and it may help a lot of older developers too who are more experienced. But anyway, it's just gonna change the way things work. And, and I think it's gonna be for the better. So have a look at my screen here. Here's a TechCrunch article which summarizes it. Just basically how Google, uh, how Google Play is changing how app ratings work. So. It, you know, in the past, so they talk a little bit about how Apple a few years ago they changed their the way they calculate it. But here you go, we, we've got this um, a statement here by Milena Nikolic from Google I/O this week. You told us you wanted ratings based on what your app is today, not what it was years ago, and we agree, right? So basically, what they're going to do is start weighting more recent ratings over the ones that were older. So, and if you go into the Google Play page, I'll show you my Google Play page in a moment how it affects me. It's going to if a rating is more recent, it's gonna have a better effect than the older ones, which makes sense. Somebody who has an app that's been around for six and a half years like me, shouldn't be relying on really good reviews in the old days, even if people don't like it now. So it's gonna be positive and negative. If you have an app that's been around a long time and you've been ranking really well because of the ratings, because over the course of the history, you have a lot of, of ratings and people really, really liked it. In the old days, maybe not so much, maybe you have competitors that are doing better now, then it, it might have you might have to start looking at reviews and stuff like that and for in my case there have been times where we released a version and it just did terribly like we got bad reviews like bad ratings like almost immediately because it was a bug or something didn't quite work as well so we quickly pull it and now of course that would pull things down so you have to keep a closer eye on these kind of things you can't just leave it and leave it for a few weeks and there's also been times where there's been a new android version like for me I think it was an Android 6 where he started asking for permissions individually like we, you know, um, this app needs access to your microphone, this app needs access to this. So you have to have the prompts that come up and they can go into the settings and you have to change everything. I, that completely passed me by. I didn't test on the new version and I had bad ratings for a few weeks there until I went through and, and picked it up. Now luckily on our team we're, we're checking the reviews, we're always answering reviews so we see the trends when they come through. So even if I miss it, like I, I catch the news of the new platform things, we catch it but it's the kind of thing you have to do. So going forward. Now I was talking to a few other developers this week and they were looking at their Google Play page to see how their apps are affected. Either they go up or they go down. Here's mine. This is my biggest app ear agent. All right, and I think this is actually pretty cool. So uh, I've got policy violations on other applications, but over here you can see it shows your current rating, which is uh, the new Google Play rating, which is 4.040. My lifetime rating is 3.728. So for me, it actually does a better job for me. And of course it should affect the rankings and how it appears based on when it's compared to other apps here. And you got the rating versus the peers. So I'm actually doing a little bit better than the peers here just a tiny little bit better and then they also tell you what your peers are but you can go through and edit your peer group and of course you got the ratings over time and everything like that but it's just it's something to think about this is going to be really good for new developers coming in who you're just releasing your first app it might be better than the established one that's been put out there but maybe they kind of let it go they're not updating it very often they're not keeping up with current trends and you have that chance to sneak in there and your new ratings even though you have a few of them might weigh better than that. And not only time will tell how this affects us, but it is gonna affect us as, as Google Play developers. And of course, Google Play is where I make the most of my revenue, my most of my passive revenue. So I'm always watching that. And that's that. I think that was the biggest news that come out of Google I.O. in my opinion. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. First of all, how is the new ratings calculation affecting you and or how is it gonna affect your apps? You should be able to see it on the Google Play console. If you don't, I'm sure they're rolling it out pretty soon. How does it affect you and are you excited about it? So do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, yeah, let us know in the comments. Anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again next time.